Hope everybody's having a great day today. I, I finally decided I saw this article and I'm like, you know what? It's time to start making videos again. So here I am. I'm back making videos and I'll be gaming tomorrow morning. I'll be home and about nine o'clock I'll be online streaming for a couple hours before I have to go back to bed, get up to go back to work uh, and everything. And I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll make a video about my stream schedule here uh, in a few minutes. But right now I want to talk about this. Um, Sony's fight isn't just with Microsoft, and, I, and I'll get into why I say that here in a second, because I think a lot of you guys are going to agree with me on this. You may not, but I, I feel like a, a good portion of you guys will. I read this. I came across this article this morning. Sony points to Starfield exclusivity for why Microsoft can't be trusted with Call of Duty. Now, I haven't really looked into a lot of this, but the, uh, the, article, um, the article's um, author said uh, put in here that uh, during the uh, time when Starfield was announced, it was never said, you know, what platforms it was going to be on. It was never specified if it was going to be, you know, an all platform title. I don't remember. And I don't even know if I could go back and find out or not, but that's what they're stating here in the, in the article. And they're also saying that, you know, Sony's now saying that because of Starfield being exclusive to Xbox now that you can't trust Microsoft with call of duty. And I'm like, that's bullshit. For one, that's a bullshit take by Sony. Every, every take Sony's had on this whole entire argument about Call of Duty is bullshit. And the fact of the matter is, is that they don't seem to, I don't think they realize that they're not just picking a fight with Microsoft. They're picking a fight with Activision Blizzard because Activision Blizzard wants this deal to go through. If they didn't, they wouldn't have freaking made the deal to begin with. You know? And they wouldn't be excited about it. You know, that from my understanding, from most of the things I've read, Activision Blizzard, Sony wants, uh, Bobby Kotick wants this deal to go through. Sony is the only one out there, from my understanding, that doesn't want it to go through. And the fact of the matter is, is that the gamers are going to benefit. We're going to benefit because I'm going to be honest with you. I honestly believe, and I might be eating my own words here, but I honestly believe that that World of Warcraft is going to benefit. Call of Duty is going to benefit. Uh, Overwatch is going to benefit development from all these games are going to benefit that are under the AB key umbrella. And because once they get, once everything gets fully transferred over to Xbox, a lot of the bullshit has happened in the past. And a lot of the bullshit that would happen in the future is not going to happen no more because Microsoft ain't going to put up with it. I mean, if you understand anything that happened with, um, mixer, I had to look up in my mixer hat that I had up there when I used to be on mixer. If you remember what happened at mixer, most, most of you guys probably don't understand this. There was some like, um, some racial shit going on over there and some anti-Semitic stuff and some freaking uh, sexual harassment allegations that are about to come out into the open from past employees who have been fired because they reported certain people higher ups to HR and stuff. Well, you know what Microsoft did? They just sold their shit. They just got out. They just got out. They said, oh, we're not doing this. We're done. We're finished. We're not going to come in and clean them because they knew it was more damaging to just deal with it than it was to just let it go. So that's that's the real reason that to me, that's why I honestly believe that's what happened to Mixer. It wasn't that they lost money on Mixer. It's because they knew, they saw the writing on the wall that it was going to be more, they, there was no way they were going to be able to come back from it. So they just got rid of it. And they got rid of almost every single CEO that were a person higher up that worked there. They got fired too as well. They just let everybody go. And then they sold off the 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 uh, the software stuff to, uh, to Facebook, which I thought was stupidest thing they could have ever done I, I my my in my opinion i think they should start they should have started another streaming platform from scratch something because they could have done it a lot better especially with the xbox ecosystem so, so anyway back to back to my point my point is this when it comes down to it if this deal falls through because of sony if I was on the board and I just lost out on a portion of $68 billion, $68, $69 billion, I'd be fucking pissed. I'd be outright pissed. And I wouldn't be pissed at Microsoft. I wouldn't be pissed at these, these boards for doing their investigation, these, these countries for checking to see if this stuff's, uh, you know, anti-consumer, anti-gamer, because I don't think it is. I think the gamers are the ones that would benefit wholeheartedly. And I honestly don't think for an instance with a game that's already established as a multi-platform game, Microsoft would be stupid. They'd be freaking idiots to take that game off of PlayStation. Even, even if they did take it off in 20 or 30 or 40 years, 
they'd be stupid if the game's still even around by then. Uh, you know, who's to say if it would be or not? It might be in some form, but who's to say it'd be as popular as it is now? There's going to be something coming along that's going to be more popular and people are going to play because generational changes and stuff. You know, the, the thing is, though, is that, you know, they offered him a 10-year deal. They Like they've offered everybody else and Sony's turned it down. You know, because now they're saying that, oh, you know, they may not let it play, have it play as well as it will on Xbox. But here's the thing. It's not Xbox exclusive. It's on, it's on, you know, it's, it, even if they did take it off of PlayStation, it's still going to be on Nintendo. It's still going to be on Steam. It, so it's still going to be on PC and it's still going to be on Xbox. So it technically won't be exclusive because it's still going to be on two platforms. The only way to make it exclusive is to put it on the Xbox app. And they're not doing that. They're putting it on the Steam store, Valve Steam store. So, you know, my whole thing with this argument from Sony is, is just benign and idiotic and foolish. Because at the end of the day, if you can put yourself in, in the position of thinking that you're going to lose a portion of $69 billion, I don't even know how many people are on the board, maybe 10, 20, maybe if that. And they're all high, high, high dollar investors. I mean, all these people are like, the top echelon investors of this company who put Bobby Kotick in charge, who we all know as gamers and pay attention to what's going on in the gaming verse. No, he's the most vindictive CEO out there that he will get you. If you try to screw him and Activision Blizzard, he will come after you eventually. And one way, shape or portion, he will make you pay. And I'm going to be honest with you. Sony's going to fucking pay if they screw this deal up because they want it to happen. They wouldn't have agreed to it if they didn't want it to happen. It's not like they're hurting so bad. I mean, they could continue doing the same thing they're doing now. Yeah, they don't care about their public image. I mean, yeah, they, if there's one thing Bobby Kotick does not give a shit about is his public image. He doesn't give a damn what you, me, or anybody else thinks about him. He could give a rass ass. The man's just going to go buy another freaking yacht. Like Asmund Gold says, he's just going to go buy another damn yacht. You know, and when you take this yacht from him, Sonny, you're going to be the one that suffers. Because I'm going to be honest with you, if I was on the board and I had that kind of money to be on a board like that, I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be telling them all, if Sonny screws this deal, as soon as that contract is up with them, they're losing Call of Duty. They're losing everything. And if they want it back, they're going to have to pay in the billions to get that shit back. Now, I'm not talking, I'm talking about what a fucking beat. 